how bodies get charged we have seen that when we rubbed two bodies they got charged and bodies get charged in many other different ways so how this is happening how they get charged this video will answer these questions all the matter around us is made up of large number of atoms and each atom has positive charge as well as negative charge and any material so any material has a large number of atoms so it has a large number of negative charge as well as a large number of positive charge this is an atom with positive charge at its center and uh, and negative charge revolving around it in the form of electrons in the external orbits each metal body has a large number of atoms so it has a large amount of negative charge and similarly large amount of positive charge but still the body is neutral as we have seen generally the bodies are neutral this is because the amount of negative charge is exactly equal to the amount of positive charge and a body gets charged when this balance is disturbed for this example let's say we have n number of electrons and same n number of protons in a material this body will get charged if this balance is disturbed if if i this will it will get negatively charged if i add some electrons to it if i add say four electrons to it this body will get a four unit of negative charge four electrons of negative charge and if similarly if i from a similar body having equal amount of negative and positive charge if i remove some electrons from it if i remove these two electrons from it this body will have this body will have two protons in excess so two uh, fundamental units of two basic units of positive charge on it so bodies get charged by transfer of electrons from them and we know that removal of protons from the atom is very difficult so any transfer during charging of bodies which take place is take uh, take place in terms of electrons when we rub or whatever we do the num electrons transfer from one body to another body and they get charged as we have seen in the video on electric charge for very first video of this chapter electric charge discovery discovery and properties we have seen that when we rub a glass rod with silk cloth when we rub a glass rod with silk cloth glass rod got positively charged and silk cloth got negatively charged so now we can explain that phenomena that some electrons must have some electrons from the glass rod while the process of rubbing uh, must have moved from glass rod to the silk rod they were detached from their parent atom and they moved on to the silk cloth so now the glass rod has less number of electrons so it is positively charged and silk cloth has excess of electrons so it is negatively charged and why this elect why these electrons move from the glass rod because uh, some uh, uh, these electrons must have moved from the external atoms which were at the surface of the glass rod which that are the electrons which were loosely bound microscopically we can see that if this is the surface of the glass rod it has atoms on its surface and they have electrons in the orbits and protons in the nucleus so protons are out of question protons do not Uh, exchange during the uh, common process of rubbing and other processes during the process of rubbing electrons must have detached from their parent atoms and moved to the 
silk cloth and this is the silk cloth silk cloth and silk cloth had excess of electrons so silk cloth got negatively charged and glass rod got positively charged this is how bodies get charged